Erica, can you tell me what's happened? You've fallen down a few days ago. All right. No, that's all right. We've got, we've got ambulance on the way, okay? They'll be here soon, okay, darling? Are you here by yourself? Do you remember when you fell down? Four or five days ago. Yeah, how about you just have a bit of a drink for me there, darling? Just small sips. Don't drink too much, just little small drinks, okay? Oh, I can hear sirens. So, hear that? Yep, yeah, so they're coming for you. They won't be too far away now. You're a nice looking man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, darling, they're here for you now. Good night. Hello. Straight down. Yep, keep going. Have a good day, Sue. Well done, guys, thank you. How are you? Good morning. Remember, Glenn and Max, we can't hug you, unfortunately. No, we have to keep our social distancing, but these are for you. If you wouldn't have come, I don't think I'd be sitting here. No. It's true. The doctor said to me, every doctor who came here, they said, you don't know how lucky you are that you're alive. I just slept out of bed, which I always do the same. I don't know what happened. They must have fallen unconscious because there's some time I can account for. For us to have an opportunity to come here today and see her and present her with some flowers and see the smile on her face and you know a, a lot more colour, it's it's great for us. It, it's really fulfilling for us in our role. In the end, I win. I'm still alive. <laughs> Can you imagine a week nearly lying here without help day and night? I can't comprehend it how that all happened. Look, the government's been brilliant in instrumenting the care army and so on and trying to contact the elderly and, and frail people in, with the community. And it's a great initiative and if we can get that message across from this, then that's gold. That'll help out immensely and hopefully help save more lives. My lifesavers, my angels. No policemen, my angels. 